Gun. Even with all that's going on in the world, he still won't come out. He must have something real big to contend with in there. Would you like a drink? Seems Palmer of the Shinra Company has brought a few soldiers with him. They're all here preparing the rocket. Young President Roof is planning to do with all those mechanics. Welcome. This is an item store. load of Shinra people showed up and started tinkering with the rocket. Is my rocket going to be safe? Is Shinra serious about launching that run-down old rocket? Why now? Let's see... I need to... Hey Sid, I just thought of some great puns. <laughs> Listen to this one. I'm sick of hearing your dumb puns, but okay, let's get this over with. Let's have it. I uh, know, let's see how it goes. 
Rufus and the Turks are arriving, though they're rather rude and conniving. Huh? Hmm? What else? The president is after mechanics, your rust bucket rocket, and team. Refusely launching materia. Some kind of bomb is his scheme. A bad sense of humor is the least of his problems. I thought it'd be fun to hear some of your stupid puns again, for old times' sake. Oh, I thank you. I tip my cap, Ken. And they still suck! They are awful. Ha! You're the one telling crappy puns! So that moron Rufus is up to something with my rocket, is he? Let's get to the launch pad. Wow, what a show. Is something exciting finally gonna happen? Terrorists! Any further! All hands! Attack! Getting past me! Never! I don't have time for you. Let's go, Cloud. We'll kick those Shinra crap heads right out of there. You again? Those who meddle with Shinra's plan are eliminated. Don't get in my way, or else. You can thank me later. Let's see if they like it! I'm not interested.
They got us. Try not to tread on me. You! What are you doing here? I was expecting Rude of the Turks! Too bad. He's out there in a heap. Oh man. A Turk done in like that. Well, you're not getting past me. guys up to oh I thought I heard some commotion captain you're back listen to this captain we're launching the rocket huh where are you talking about we've loaded a materia bomb on board and are going to smash it into meteor our rocket is going to save the planet cool or what Hang on! Shut the hell up! Shut your trap! How's the rock? It's okay. More or less. See, we did plan to hit Meteor using the autopilot, but... a crucial part broke. Broke? How do repairs go? Uh, well, Shera's on it. Great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. It'll take a hundred years if you leave it to that woman. I'll handle this. Don't need no damned autopilot. Hey, 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 hey! Go let them all know! Chop, chop! All right, Captain. We'll leave the rest to you. Sid, what do you think you're doing? Materia contains knowledge and wisdom passed down from ancient times. That power can help us save the planet from Sephiroth. We can't afford to lose the huge materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I get it. I understand materia is precious. And I know what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's the power of science or the power of magic that saves the day. Actually, no. I guess if I had to choose, I'd be gunning for the power of science. Man used to crawl on the ground. Now he can fly. And at long last. He's about to go into space. Science is a power created and nurtured entirely by human hands. And science might just be what saves our planet. I was able to earn a living thanks to science. So for me, there's no greater thing. You can't keep obsessing over what Shinra will or won't do. I don't want to have any regrets later on. But Sid... Shut the hell up! All you have are ifs and buts. It's time for me to get cracking. Seeing as you're not involved, get the hell out of my sight. Move it. What the? Hey, hey. Bobber, what the hell are you playing at? They said they finished the autopilot. So, I love it. Damn it, Shira. Why'd you pick the day to get fast? Shit. No response. It's completely locked down. Hey, hey, hey! Almost lift off! Huh? No countdown. Just didn't the same without it. Hey! Hey, hey! Blast off!
finally made it. I'm in outer space. So, how is the corset? Yep, we're heading straight for Meteor. Sid, you old fart! Do something! No way am I dying in this crappy tin can of yours! Oh, look. Palmer's kindly locked down the autopilot for us. There's no way to change course now. So that's it then? Huh? Hell are you saying? You're still young, aren't you? Can't give up that easy! I have no intention of meeting a fool's head crashing into that godforsaken rock! Look! There's an escape pod just for times like these. Okay, I've opened the lock on the escape pod. We'll bail right before this crashes into Meteor. Hmm, what about the huge materia? You don't need it. Maybe you could, you know, give it to me? If you want the materia, go and get it. It should be above. Use that ladder. Are you sure? I don't know. I know what I said before, but... Maybe all I wanted to do was go into space with this rocket. So I think you should do whatever you feel is right. Finally, the huge materia. The lock can be opened by entering a passcode with this control panel. There's a control panel. Will you operate it? Enter passcode. Glad. You know how to use this, right? Every time it says enter key, press red, blue, green, or purple. If you punch in the right code, the lock will be released and you can grab the material. So in what order am I supposed to enter the passcode? Hell if I know! Just try punching anything! Enter key 1. Enter key 2. Enter key 3. Enter key 4. Passcode verified. Authorized access confirmed. Lock released. Ho oh, ho awesome! You got the passcode straight off the bat! You already knew it, right? You must have. Be honest, if you figured it out that quickly, the player cheated. Under this piece of crap! Sid! It. it won't budge! Not even the strength of the Wu Tai's white rose is working! Forget about me! Just go! The rocket's gonna crash in the meteor! You don't have time! There's no way I'm leaving a friend behind. You idiot! This ain't the time to worry about others! The least I can do is try. You're an idiot! Do you know that? Tank 8 exploded. So Tank 8... really was on the fritz. Shira, you were right. But... it's the end of the line for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shira? I tagged along. Here, let me help. You stupid 
through with Let him! Fool! So sorry. The escape pod is this way. Quickly, I'll detach the escape pod. Shira, will this crappy pod actually work? It's fine. I've been checking it up until now. Then we're safe. <laughs> Thank you. Outer space. Oh man, it's space. I really made it. So long, Shinra 26. Rufus's plan failed. I know how this sounds, but I kinda hoped it worked. We've been getting in their way of return. No, there's nothing left to try. Have we made a mistake? Makes you worry, doesn't it? We can't worry. We have to think. Yeah, the girl's right. You start down that road, there'll be no stopping it. Things will just go from bad to worse. Well, you're pretty damn optimistic. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot recently. While traveling to space, while looking down on our planet, then adrift in the escape pod bobbing about the ocean. I've been thinking too. About the universe. The planet. The sea. So big and vast. Maybe no matter what we do, we're just too insignificant to make any real difference. Maybe. But see, this is the way I figure it. Our planet may seem big, but it's nothing compared to space. 
think about it. It's just floating around in a huge void. Help and alone. And to top it all off, Zephyroth's in its belly, festering away like a disease. That's why I say our planet's a child. A little kid, sick and trembling in the middle of this gigantic universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow? Ain't we that someone? Sid! That was beautiful! Damn, man. You even got to me. So what's the plan? How are we gonna protect the planet from media? I'm still working on that. Huh? Did you... hear something? A celestial scream? Meteor? Or is it our planet? Hey, how do you know what it is? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see Grandpa. To Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to help us. This is between you and me, but Bugenhagen's always been a Shinra regular. Oh, didn't get me wrong. He's never bought Mako or weapons. That old guy Bugenhagen, huh? And I don't get him at all. At first I thought he was a nature lover, but he lives his life surrounded by machines. Maybe Bugenhagen can tell us something. In other news, I've just noticed that the ship's been modified. With all the extra switches and levers, it's little wonder I'm feeling confused. The machines in Cosmo Canyon were largely gifts from Professor Gast. Surrounded by Shinra's machines, consumed by the mysteries of the planet. Science and the planet live side by side in that old man's heart. Hurry! Hurry! Let's go see Grandpa! Should we leave?
<laughs> if you are ever in need of my wisdom, you are always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we've come. What? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a long, hard look at ourselves. There may be something you have overlooked. Something very deep in your heart. Try to remember. I'm sure you'll find what it is you're missing. That's easy enough to say, but I don't remember. It must be there. Look harder. You expect me to get any of this? Why don't you let all the others know? Well, can you see what it is you're looking for? Nope, not a bloody thing. I don't get any of this. I'm... remembering Aerith all of a sudden. No, that's not it. I'm not remembering because I didn't forget. No, that's not it either. How do I put it? Aerith was there all along. Right by our side. She was so close by that we completely missed it. The things that she did. And the words she left behind. Now that you mention it, I've thought about it too. Me too. Yeah, and me. She said that she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Aerith is gone. Is it impossible for us to do what she was trying to do? What can we do? We ain't no ancients. Why'd she go to that place anyway? That's it! Uh, what's it? We don't even know why. What was Aerith doing there? Why didn't she try to escape with Sephiroth? Yeah, maybe we should go back there. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have you take me along. You want to come too, Grandpa? Now, oh, don't sound so surprised. I like seeing some of the world now and again, but I wonder what's made me feel like this all of a sudden. It's been so long. It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Is it ever shut up? Oh, ho, ho, ho. shall we? Oh yeah, Bugenhagen. I need one more favor. We're carrying around these huge materials. Since they're kind of delicate, we'd like to leave them in a safe place. Ho, 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 ho. Then shall we put them upstairs? Should we do it now? I'll teach you how to operate the machine. Uh, watch carefully. You just flip this thing here and... Ho 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 ho! So this is huge materia. It is very rare indeed. Materias like these may even possess hidden knowledge. Huge materia. It's glowing enigmatically. Is this... Bahamut? Huge material. It's glow. Go back. <laughs> Good. Now let us depart. Do you remember how to use the machine below? Come back whenever you wish to see the materials. <laughs> Machinery. I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature. Hmm. 
The deck is up there. Well then, I'll be spending some time above. One can almost smell the vitality of the planet on the wind. It's a similar sensation regarding the magnificence of human wisdom on the machinery. <laughs> Cheerio! know what this is like. Air sickness, motion sickness, please just leave me alone. I do understand, Yuffie. My motion sickness is a real killer. Although, for some reason it didn't affect me when I believed I was in Soldier. Oh. Hey, then maybe you know something that can help. Well, according to my research, get all tense, you won't get sick. But it's not like you can pick and choose when that happens. In a vehicle with this much space, moving about is a good idea. It might also help to do some exercises. In the army, I spent a lot of time in trucks. That sucked. Oh, and there's one thing you should never ever do, and that is... read. Anyway, once you're sick, there's nothing you can really do about it. I know it's tough. Yeah, well... At least having friends close by keeps my spirits up a little. Even though I still feel... Ugh. I told Elmira about Eris' death. She couldn't have stopped crying. And poor wee Marlene, too. Aerith. Well, she did. So, now she's traveling the planet as spiritual energy, even if she is. I guess we'll never see her again. I wonder how Aerith felt on the way to that altar. I'm sure she was ready to lay down her life for the planet. Really? Hmm. I don't think it was like that. I suspect she never even thought about dying. I think she intended to return. Aerith always talked that way. Next, after this, later, she talked about the future more than anyone. <sighs> Aerith. I wanted to give her a ride on the high wind. Aerith used to pat me on the nose sometimes. Even though I hated being treated like a child, somehow she always got the better of me. I wanted to apologize to her for what happened when we first met. The city of the ancients. <laughs> ancients. The day may come when we too are referred in the same manner. <laughs> that will depend on whether we're successful or not, however. Okay, let's go.